Hey everyone! Okay, so today I'm gonna do a requested hair tutorial in one of my monthly favorite type videos. I don't know if it was last month or the month before. I wore my hair like this and people were like, oh my gosh, we gotta know. So it's really, really easy. I used a curling wand and I wanted to show you how I do it because I don't know, I think you'll really be shocked by how easy it is. I've always been a little bit intimidated by curling wands and always felt like I didn't really know how to make them work and and then I started playing with them and using them and it's actually really fun and it gives me a completely different look than obviously what is natural to me. The one I'm gonna be using today is a new me 32 millimeter curling wand. I kind of love this packaging. So it's like the biggest one they make and it's the biggest one I've ever seen. My hair right now is freshly washed. It's obviously up in a little poof because I'm trying to have some body um, because my hair is all kinds of straight and flat. And this is not what we're going for. I used a heat protectant on it before I did a little blow drying. And for some reason it's staticky. First, I find where I want to put my part. I'm going to kind of do one way over here. And then I'm going to do a little bit of teasing. I like to tease before just because you don't want to like completely ruin all your like curls and waves by going in and teasing afterward. I mean, I guess you could, but I just like to do it before. I recently did a hair tutorial about like my everyday gorgeous like Lana Del Rey kind of curls that I do with a curling iron. These like beginning steps are kind of similar. I'll link it below if you missed it. The teasing is up to you whether you want to do it or not. I'm all about it so clearly I'm doing it. I like a fluffy head. So I got my hair like pretty teased. I got some volume. I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm going to split off my hair like a half up and clip up the top so I can do the bottom half and then the top half. You definitely don't have to do this, but it kind of helps like organization wise. Like you're going through and you're like, no, this is a strand I've done. No, no, no. My wand is all heated up. This thing is kind of amazing because it heats up ridiculously fast. Like, I don't know, I don't really know how to time it. There's just like one little on off button. And so it doesn't tell you like, oh, okay, I'm totally heated up. But like, it gets so hot, so fast. Like I'm talking under a minute, like maybe under 30 seconds. So this thing's crazy. I got my wand, it's all heated up and I got this little glove. And a lot of these things come with gloves and I've seen a million tutorials that are like, I don't use the glove because I'm crazy cool and um, I don't think I'm that cool so I'm using the glove at least to start with safety first I don't have my goggles but anyway I always get a little bit confused about this there's just one that comes with it and it's like see I'm doing this wrong right now I need to hold it like this and then wrap it with the other hand I'm sorry I'm thinking out loud I'm just grabbing a section I'm just gonna wrap it around the barrel and this is where the glove comes in handy because you want to get it all the way down to the end and it's really hard to do that if it's just your naked hand getting burned. It's horrible because this thing gets super, super hot. Whoa, dude. Sometimes I kind of flip it. I'm not really sure why, but that's how I do it. And then I let go and it gives me just kind of like a loosey, wavy curl like that. And then we move on. And as you might have predicted, you just keep on doing that all over the place and I need to switch the glove hand you see this the thing is like I'm extremely right-handed so it's like I try to do something with my left hand it's just like I don't know I've like gone back to infancy here we go I don't put a ton of thought into it I just kind of get going with it and it typically turns out well if you want as you're going through you can kind of spritz them give a little extra hold All right, so you see that side is done. It relaxes as you wear it, and obviously if the less you spray it, the more it will like fall throughout the day. Sorry, I'm redoing this part. <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! 
that are really bouncy, right? <laughs> I don't know if that was necessary at all. That's what that looks like. I'm gonna work on this side and maybe like get into some of the top part, but I'll be right back and catch you up with what I've done. All right, I got this side done, obviously. For some reason, it worked out a little bit better than this side. I don't know why, but that kind of always happens to me. Like you get started with a hairstyle and then like you do one side and then the other side comes out so much better. I don't know, it's a strange phenomenon. I'm in the twilight zone. I don't wanna talk about it. All right, so obviously I need to tackle the top part. So I'm just gonna let that down, push these two parts that I've already done back and I'm gonna pull these forward. Again, I'm all about organization. <laughs> I don't think that's the right word for that at all. Now it looks like I have short hair or crazy hair. I don't know. The top part is obviously a little bit more important because that shows more. So you have to kind of think about where it's gonna lay and it's so weird to touch your hair with a glove. It's like freaky. To get these parts to curl like really well, I like to go over them with a little spritz. This is just Elnet, so it's not like a super hold. It's just a little something and it helps it like really get that curl. Tiny bit of tease to add to that. And then I'm gonna do this little short piece here and I'm gonna do it away from the face. <laughs> I hope you can see this. <laughs> the glove allows you to just literally like hold the barrel and it doesn't hurt. Like it's warm, but it's not like burning me. Hello. And I'm just gonna leave it like that to kind of like cool down. Cause if you let the curl kind of cool, then it's going to hold a lot better rather than, you know, messing with it while it's still hot. Do you remember what I was saying about organization? I'm all disorganized. Here on these back pieces, you wanna kind of focus on curling towards the back because since I teased, if I curl it towards the side, then it's gonna wanna lay that way and then your tease is gonna be all exposed to the world and you never want that. Boing. I'm always paranoid there's gonna be like one stick straight piece like flowing down my back among the short little curls. Kind of a stupid thing to be paranoid about. I realize that. Sometimes when you say things out loud, you realize how irrational it is. <laughs> I think my caption for that Instagram, or I don't know if it was on Facebook or what, was like, Curly Sue. Anyone seen that movie? Curly Sue, I feel, was a little bit disturbing to me as a child. I'm not gonna lie, I don't totally remember the details, but she was like an orphan, or no. She had a dad, but they were like homeless. I don't know. This. This was something that was, you know, kind of disturbing to me as a child. Curly Sue. But she also like seemed to have like a lot of fun and she was just like a bad kid and her dad was bad. It was just wonderful, right? I don't know. Maybe I need to see this movie again, but then again, maybe not. So here's the moment where I wonder, should I title this hair tutorial Curly Sue? Or would anyone get that? <laughs> Probably not. I definitely used to think that curling wands were kind of like ridiculous and like unnecessary because like if you already had a curling iron and you really liked using curling irons like well, why do you need that but it really produces like a different look and I feel like it holds different I don't know maybe I don't know I'm not sure about the science but it seems different to me oh my gosh this is ridiculous so I have Real Housewives of New Jersey on right over here, but it's muted because obviously I can't watch TV and do my video, but I do what I can. And she's actually doing Teresa's hair with a curling wand that looks like kind of like this one. I'm sure it's not the same one, but that's kind of a coincidence. All right, that looks so funny. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go all over with a little spray. You can get these kind of like Goldilocks, Curly Sue, Bouncy Bouncies, and that's nice, but it's not exactly what I want. This is kind of hard to show, but I'm gonna do my best. I'm pretty much just gonna stand up, flip my head, and kind of like go through with my fingers. I don't know why this is good for me, but it's good for me. Hello. <laughs> it looks super crazy, 
but pretty much since you curled it with the part, it just kind of falls back into place. He knows who's boss. So then you're just working through with your fingers just until it looks right for you. You just got your big beautiful hair and it can be as big as you want or it can be as tame as you want. I don't know, I wouldn't want to say small hair. That sounds terrible. It's not like an overly curled look, it's just kind of like big and this is pretty much the finished product. I like it. I think this is a really pretty look. Um, it is kind of, whew, it's obviously my kind of style. I love it. I hope you guys like it. If I forgot any important details, I'll definitely put them down below. I hope you got something out of this tutorial. I hope this kind of hair works for you. If you try out this hair tutorial, or if you do something kind of like it and you wanna show me, I love when people do that. You can tweet me the picture, you can, show me on Instagram or send it to me on Facebook, whatever. I love seeing that kind of stuff. People show me their nails all the time and I love that so much. You can find those links down below. You can obviously also talk to me there. You can also hit me up down below in the comment section. You can ask me questions, leave me comments, whatever. I'm happy to talk at any time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. I have hair in my mouth. I wouldn't be able to get my Lama Del Rey on without it. <laughs> totally spread myself in my eye. Hello. I'm pretty sure my neighbors are having a party. I'm not really sure. It's kind of noisy. I'm not sure if you can hear that. If you can and it's bugging you, I'm sorry. But we're in the same boat because it's bugging me too. I'm pretty sure it's a doing the lawn party, which is extra disturbing. I don't know what this move is, but this is the kind of word. Is there a word that kind of articulates this kind of, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <sighs> oh, but she's doing like tiny little curls. It's crazy. I feel like that would take five years. What are you doing? Crazy? Teresa is crazy. I don't even need to talk about that. Ah, <laughs> missed a spot. <laughs> trying to explain things to myself. It's madness, trying to avoid it. So anyway... Um, I'm not sure... Oh, it's Misha! <sighs> ah, Misha! I don't know why I'm so excited. I just get really excited about this stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I have a lot of feelings.